do 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 Hello, Abscott. Before anything else, let's try and get chat working. Come on, hello, driver. Yep, chat. Chat is still missing. That's why does this keep happening? I think this is uh, this has got to be an OBS uh, update or something that went wrong uh, because uh, there's literally no reason for this. I think I'm just gonna. Uh, why? Oh, there we go. No, wait. What? No. Okay. Okay, hopefully that just fixes itself at some point. I'm just gonna go tell people what's happening. That the stream is happening. The stream! Oh yeah, I think, yeah, I saw that the crossbones uh, got updated. Did it get updated again? We'll have to, we'll have to use it as a crash test dummy for uh, our cram submarine. Uh, we to do a hollow point cram submarine build. Now what's that? Yay! Hello, Dr. Cruiser! Hello, hello! Hello, Shark Lover! Hello, ac Academic Nomad! Hello, Dice! Oh, nice one! Whee! I was getting cooked the last few days. Oh, yeah, it's hot up north. Okay. How do I get checkbox to do the thing? Because it's not doing the thing, and I don't like it. Why is it not doing the thing? Needs to do the thing. Hey, the eagle eagle. Hello, buzzer first. Hello, King Meow. Hello, hello, everybody. So nice to see you here. I don't know. Hopefully... Okay, I don't... I actually literally have no idea what to do about... Uh, chat box, it's just not appearing. Yep. Okay, chat's already chatting, so... Yeah, 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 so that was the suggestion. Uh, the goose, I might uh, do in my own time. Uh, mainly because I want to do a good job of it. And of course, the swan is definitely something that'll have to happen in its own time. Uh... Yeah, man, freaking... Crap, hold on. You know what? Uh, do I want to fix this? I, I really should fix this like in my own time and not friggin... So annoying. Okay. Oh, there it is! Okay. Uh, Alright, so it's just, you know, it just works eventually. I need to whip me hoodie off. Yeah. I'm warm already. I've warmed up. Now that I've warmed up, we can get busy. Okay. So... Um, what I actually want to do... Uh, how big do we want that? We want it big. Hollow point needs to be big. I'm thinking we're actually going to put it on a turret. Uh, because as it turns out, if you use four uh, elevation barrels, crams can aim almost straight up. 75 degrees is quite steep. Yeah. <gasps> the deep water guard got another carrier? Show me. Alright, is there anything... Does anyone know what that carrier name is? Sorry, I'm getting distracted right now. Barracuda, angry chicken, frantic monkey barrel, calamar, orca, pedrano, hatchwork, tuna, 
Smoke the actual trigger. Buccaneer dropping the Congo. Let the back flounder because they're logging ahead more here. Rapier. Jacob's Palace! Yes, let's have a squiz. Before we do anything else, I want to see this. Oh, I think she's a big girl. I think she's a big girl with potentially a lot of collision. This her? It is! Oh, look at her! Look at her! Oh, she's got little swordfish thingies. Oh, this is gorgeous. Who made this? Shotgunner 5. I know we're supposed to be doing stuff, but uh, but it's always nice to just see what's, what else has been added. That's groovy. I like it. Yay! New planes. What are these planes? Hold on. Uh, slip rope. Yep, just it's called a slip rope. I can't select it. Damn, man, I like this. Groovy. And there's a little checkerboard thingy over there. Okay. Enough distractions. Whoops. Um, they're destroying enemy vehicles. Uh, that. What are my buttons? Okay, so like I was saying, I think we're gonna go with a turret. Um, we're not gonna. We're gonna try not to go too insanely big because big things don't work very well. Uh, let's go. Let's go max size template I have, and it's just not going to be. Actually, let's not do that. Let's not do that. Let's go 13 by 13, and we're gonna do 3D diamond tetris because. We can. We have the power. Mm. Yep. Okay, so let's go over here. Let's find our diamond tetris. Diamond standard tetris. Oh, hello, Cram. Oh, Cram's got a visual update by the looks of it. A kind of annoying one because like <laughs> you still can't really tell which side is which yeah that doesn't look right <laughs> oh hello oh hello 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 nice visual up to oh hello this is different oh hey cool oh yeah visual update for the most part Okay, groovy. Hey, what a what a coincidence. <laughs> the new models are here. I'm as surprised as you. <laughs> okay, let's just let's carry on. Okay, so standard diamond does not fit in here very well, unfortunately. Let's let's let's, let's see. Can we? No, we can make it work. We can make it work. We will absolutely make it work. We have the power to make it work. Kind of. We don't have the power to make it work. Why don't we have the power to make it work? I messed up somewhere, didn't I? Ah, that's this is here. This here is where I messed up. Did I do exactly the same thing again? Okay, so standard diamond pattern isn't actually working in here very well. I always do this. I've built probably hundreds of cram cannons, but uh, I always do this. I always stuff up at least once first. Okay, let's just. How about we finish the outside of the turret first? Let's just do this. Oh yeah, and if you're wondering why this turret template looks like this, it's just because it makes me happy to look at it, and that's literally the only reason. 
Yay, hey, hello, Monster Kicker. Hello, hello, everyone who's just joined us. Wait, there's a ton added? Oh, yay. Yay, plus every Twin God Cross has been renamed? Well, that won't be confusing. Yep, looks like it. Yep, looks like... Well, that's not... Huh, okay, so the uh, Tyrannic is now the Paranoia. Right. Interesting. Wow. Wonder why they did that. Well, I'll have to go look at that in my own time. Ooh. Hello to France! Hello, real Aries. <laughs> Damn. Oh, well, well, looks like we're gonna have to investigate stuff. Alright, so... Okay, okay, okay. I know how to 3D Tetris. I'm a smart person. Honest, I'm a smart person. Okay, 3D Tetris. Or Diamond Tetris does not work very well in this space, because there's gaps in it, and I don't like gaps. So, I am going to commit heresy and use Cramped Tetris instead. Please forgive me, chat. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. I know not what I do, except that I do know it. And we're just going to go full hard the pellets, because that is our want. Oh wow, this feels weird to look at. I don't like how connectors and packers look very similar. <laughs> they look, oh, this is not, not good for my brain. I hate to be complaining already, but, oh boy, oh dear, uh, um, <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, from above they look exactly the same. <laughs> Uh, is that a connector? That's a connector. Uh, oh, this is actually going to take some getting used to. This is going to take some getting used to. That's a packer. So just plant. Okay. That's the connector. Woo. Yeah, I hope I hope um, Crams get some kind of love. That would be nice. Um, what the? Oh, that looks interesting. That is interesting. The Palo compactors look. Wow, they look very different. They look way more sci-fi now. Wow. Aperture science. Someone called him. <laughs> okay. Gonna put a few in here. I don't think this Tetris is winning any prizes. just doing stuff. This is very confusing actually. I can't see what I'm doing. <laughs>
probably going to hell for this day. This looks- this feels strange. I'm sure I'll get used to it in no time, but yeah. Spawn a cannon, look at the amazing show. Oh, we'll get to that. Oh, we'll get to that. Alright, first things first, let's actually fire in peace. Is that all connected? It's not. I have goofed. I have made a horrible, horrible mistake. That's easy to fix. Wait a minute, I don't need to do that. In fact, I really don't need to do that. Screw it, I'm doing it anyway, I don't care. Because it's all going to be connected... Actually, no, 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 I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. There we go, alright. That seems to be all connected. It's not connected over here. This will not do... instead and that's also not connected that's annoying that is actually not cool bro what how have I done this it's weird as heck. There we go. And there's an isolated thingy over here. Which I'm just going to sneak another one in there. Oh, people are going to be upset at me. People are going to be very upset at me for this crime Tetris. How is that doing though? That's... Material for firepower is really inefficient at the moment, but that's okay. If we don't have the full connections yet. Actually, hold on. Let me do that. Let me do that too. All of a sudden, that spikes up to... That's still really terrible. I've done terrible things. This is the worst Tetris in the world. There's only four connections there. This will not do. This will not do. But screw it. Do we actually have... We do have six... Oh, wait, no, I know why it's saying that. It's because friggin' pure kinetic, it doesn't recognize as having any firepower at all. It will do. Okay, so we got that. Hold on. Honestly, can we get away with just this? If I do... Yes. Yes, I have a cunning plan. I have a cunning plan. Do, 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 do. Where's the f Everything looks different. <laughs> yeah. Knock the corners out. Well, I do kind of. Uh, I'm just going with a round turret because looking at it, like I said, looking at it makes me feel feel good. I guess it is nice that you can just see this. So let's go there. Real time is blah blah blah. Impact damage is already 12,000. Let's get that up to a 20 second reload. Not bad for something very flat, 30,000. Yeah, that's just gonna go with this. And we're gonna make a pancake. We're going to make a delicious pancake. Actually, the stats on this, at first glance, are probably going to be kind of terrible. Material before power, oof, that's terrible. Material cost is like 8,000, though, 
for like a, an 11 by 11 turret. Okay, so let's now do this. Remember, this is going to be mounted on a submarine because apparently I'm silly. So now, this. Oh, hello! It looks like it has metal. Awesome. Has everything got a vi gotten a visual update? Because if so, awesome. go, that's what we'd like to see. Okay then, yes. Yay, do 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 I have two. Nah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have just one for now because I find more and more it's very helpful to do a small thing uh, first before you try the big thing. Try and go for the big thing uh, straight away, you will end up making a fool of yourself, and that's not good. It's not good, I say. And I'm not gonna bother testing this against anything with a lambs or anything like that because it's gonna be firing underwater. It also means I'm going to hold off on putting any detection on this for the moment. This thing's going to have a huge sonar signature, though. It's also going to be very flat. <laughs> Alright, let's have a look at the new barrels. First things first, though. Uh, where's the fusing box? I do want that. Follow point. And two, three... There we go, 1,500 meters, let's go, elevation barrel, okay, and then middle, one, two, and end. They're hollow, interesting. Uh, da, 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 end, and then, um, uh, mm, uh, what, what the hell am I looking at? Motor-driven barrel. Let's do that, one, middle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, this is going to take some getting used to. Right, and then heavy barrel start. I'm going to plug in there. Then regular barrel. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'm gonna put a heavy barrel end right there. Can you stop being highlighted for a second so I can look at you? Cool, all right. Uh, let's fire uh, the shell since people were saying uh, to do that. And as you can see, this thing aims almost straight up in the sky. Yep, that is a ver that is a. <laughs> Are you sure about this, people? Uh... <laughs> oh, you fools! You hyped it up, you fools! <laughs> you know what? It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Oh no, <laughs> guys. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, right then. Uh, let's just uh, pretend that didn't happen. Uh, I'm just gonna finish it. This does look very good. It does look very good, but uh, you know what? It's like. That's so anticlimactic. People, people saying, "Oh, the look, new shells look really good." Nothing. Invisible. Access denied. <laughs> that deserves a swig of coffee. Mm. Yep. The mesh bug report. Bug report. 
Somebody do a bug report. Uh, <laughs> that's funny. That's so funny. It's so embarrassing, but so funny. I'm gonna be giggling about that for ages now. Okay, so I have no idea what to stick in there. Um, actually, no, I have, I have exactly the idea what to stick in there. doesn't clip. Uh, vertical uh, barrels, uh, vertical, what do you call it, vertical aiming doesn't clip because the actual uh, mesh, uh, the hitbox of the barrel doesn't change. Uh, so yeah, that is a purely visual thing really. Uh, what, what, what? Oh, sorry to hear that, uh, Magensburg. Oh, okay. We've got a cottle in the chat, ladies and gentlemen. Show utmost respect or I will be sarcastic at you. Oh, infernal buggerations. Okay. I'm just gonna do that. There we go. Why do I keep redoing stuff? Yeah, horizontal clips. Horizontal, very much clips. Okay. Like I said, I have no idea what to stick in there. So I'm not going to worry about it for now. I'm going to instead... Finish off the turret, and then we shoot something with it, and we'll see if the invisible shells have a hitbox. <laughs> okay. All right. I guess I'm I'm in no rush then to have a look at the new craft if a lot of them are buggy. Oh boy. A uh, keeper of the lore is what Cottle stands for, I believe. And if it doesn't stand for that, well, I'm a blinking silly billy, aren't I? Ah, yes, soothing banjo music. Okay, this turret is bigger than what I was expecting, but it is very, very flat. And that's nice. Holder. Yeah, this is gonna be a monitor because when you're trying brand new things, I've learned the hard way not to try too many things at once. Uh, let's see, does this rotate? Yes, it does. Oh, yeah. This is going to be a very flat monitor. All right, now let's test this against something. How expensive is this? Th this is really cheap, actually. 
So let's test this against the new crossbones. New ish. Cro wait a minute, that's not what I wanted to look at. This is what I want to. No, wait, you know what we should do? We should test this against the. We should test this against the Jacob's Palace. So let's go here, there, and let's just go hop onto this and do the target prioritization thing. Value per block. Is order. Oh, draw small books and little Okay, cool. So, Magensburg. Magensburg, like, which uh, bits do you do? Sorry, uh, I don't know. I don't hang out in FTD official as much as I possibly should. Okay, Twin Garb by looks of it. Yeah, Jacob's Palace is brand new for the people who have just joined us. Wait, no, that was the crossbones. Dumbass. Foolish. Foolish fool me. Uh, cram shells. Let's spawn in the Jacob's Palace. So the Jacob's Palace, brand new, godly class carrier of the Deep Water God. Takes a while to load in. And <laughs> the freaking, freaking invisible cram shell. Are they all invisible now? Is it just my... Or is it just me being unlucky? Oh my word, it has a balloon! It has a balloon. It has a balloon. 99 something balloons. Come on, hollow point. Yep, alright, let's see if this thing actually works properly. You know what, I think that's, that does just fine. <laughs> let's have a look at these wee planes. What are you up to? Okay, they're a little... They're doing stuff. They're doing stuff. They're flying around being cool. The new propellers, by the way. Ah, oh, they look beautiful. Look at them go. Wee! Oh, they're like... I know what this is a reference to. This is a reference to the... What's it? The fairy swordfish. Because those are little bomb things. Those little torpedoes. They're really fast. Whoa! Alright, let's follow... Let's follow this in Vizicram. Yeah. Yay! Do most of the Twin Guard stuff. Okay, awesome. Love your work. Twin Guard is like not my favorite faction aesthetically, but they still look good. It's like, yeah. I appreciate it. How much damage did that do? That did 53,000 thumb. Yeah, I think this will work just fine, actually. We should probably test against something made of metal. We'll fire again. Twenty-nine thousand. There it goes. I mean, we could make this a bit bigger, but we can always make a bigger version later. Okay, we get the idea. Let's test this against. Actually, you know what we should do? We should actually put this onto cram only neater uh, settings. Do like this. Uh, show speed. Why is that? Did I goof? Recoil reducer barrel? That's not what I wanted to do. Oh, that's bugged. That's the wrong thing in there. What the hell? Oh, you cheeky bugger. <laughs> yeah, that's it, like, it's, uh, whoops, it's the, it's the wrong thing. Wrong thing, wrong thing, wrong thing. Oh, yeah, that's, that's bad. <laughs> it's recall reducers, uh, instead of the other things. Two, three, four. Whoopsie daisy there, mate. Whoops. There we go. <laughs> Oops, we're seeing multiple problems here. Alpha bugs. All right. Who's banning what? Mr. Ravra. What? 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 Where's the what? Where's the what? Okay, I ban. I 
go here, I ban. Alright, thanks driver. Jolly good. MVP. Okay, uh, now let's save this again. <laughs> I'm having fun. I'm having fun. Okay, uh, what was I doing? Oh, let's test against something made of metal. Let's find a new thing. Let's find a new thing, because there's new things. Uh, let's try and spot names which are new. Not, I don't think there's anything new in Honored Swatch. Though they would look different. Yeah, nothing. Light flare. Let's look at the new Twin God stuff. Angelic Plan, Ecstasy. I'm sorry, what? Alright, let's look at the Ecstasy. If it's got a Lambs, this is going to be embarrassing. Oh, hello, hello. Oh, hello, you look gorgeous. Hello, hello. Oh, look at this. This is beautiful. It's not firing its APS, though. That's a little bit buggy. It's also kind fast. So, well, this is a golden opportunity to see if fast Graham can hit it. It is beautiful. Look at this beautiful thing. Where did that even hit? Oh, it hit there. Oh, hello. Someone's doing beam slopes. Tee hee. Oh, it's got laser guided thingies. Oh, that's a. Oh, it mm, looks so good. Right, so this uh, this hollow point is lacking a little bit of damage. So I'm going to break my own rule here. And I'm going to make it a bit bigger. I'm make this thing significantly bigger, actually. Because I want to see block confetti, damn it. So, drop that down by one. Should get the alternating layer thing. There we go. That's more like it. Alright. Right, reload time is a little bit newer, so to add more gauge increases because that's fun. And it's fun and cool, and I like it. There we go, 1,800 millimeters. Yeah, now we're at uh, almost 60,000 thump. That's that's more like it. That's a donut I could eat. Why did I say donut? Apologies to the people who were screaming at me to do that the whole time. That ain't working. That's the way you do it. Get your money for nothing and your clicks for free. You want to know what I did the other day out of I don't even know what? I came up with alternate lyrics to Dire Straits' Money for Nothing because uh, that song has not aged well. It's got mean words in it. <laughs> Alright. Let's see this and let's use the same test again. I see wood blocks. What? Wood blocks? What are you talking about? Where? 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 Wood blocks? Where? 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 
I see wood blocks. What? 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 Oh, what? Joke that the ships aren't made of. <gasps> oh. What? Oh. Okay, you confused the heck out of me doing that. I want to put that there, actually. There we go. Uh, that doesn't look ridiculous at all. And let's make this super accurate. And happy baru end. Groovy. Groovy, groovy. And just, for, just so everyone remembers that this thing is supposed to be a submarine, we're going to do night camo. Because it's always night underwater. Camo. Night. One. Two, three. One, two, three. Four. Let's do four. Let's do three. There we go. All oh, right, right. Okay, Tolroth, you scared the hell out of me. You <laughs> thought you were saying I put wood blocks in my cram tetra, so we're like, ah, no, that's the worst. Um, let's just appreciate these cram barrels for a second. They look good. I like them. They still look like cram barrels, which is very nice. And also, look, you can see. You can see that you can basically make a house in here. Why do you <laughs> Why do we have sunfish? <laughs> sunfish are <laughs> Sunfish are one of the worst designed animals, that's why. Like, you know, you sneeze at them and they die. Alright, let's go what was it? Ecstasy. Wow, Exes wow, this thing got a complete redesign. Alright, let's uh, screenshot this, so we know ahead of time. Damn, look at you. And cram cannon fires into the water, that's what I meant to do. This looks so good. This looks so good. I am not worthy. <laughs> Oh yeah, is this... yeah. Yeah, Sunfish is... yeah, weird. It is interesting just how brutal and competitive evolution is. And that did uh, significantly better. I think we took... Oh yeah, we, uh, we peeled this thing like an onion. Bearing in mind, this thing's gonna be shooting at the underside of stuff a lot. Damn it. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, I think I have set the... Have I set... Yeah. yeah well, maybe I'll set it to minimum. I have set it to minimum. Yep, I have set it to minimum. Right, follow the invisible cram shell. Can you not do that, please? Alright, let's test against something a little slower. So we can actually see what damage we're getting. What's the shell health on this thing? Not that it matters. Eh, 54,000 thing thing. Alright, let's go with... What is... Let's go a little bit bigger. Wow, Twin God really is doing a... I really appreciate being less spammy. That makes me happy. That makes me very happy indeed. Oof. You. Oh my god, this is my favorite thing about the Twin God. This is my favorite thing. It's the little faces. What expression is that? Seriously, what expression is that? <laughs> Can't even tell. Does it aim underwater? Well, Glear. <laughs> it goes, ooh. <laughs> All right, big laser thingy. How fast is this? It's decently fast. And 
we just peeled it like so. I love the tubing here. That's lovely. I like that. The laser. Okay, never mind. And we just took out something. Yeah, we took out a local weapon control immediately. I think I like this gun. I think I like it just fine. Let's reset that. And the firepower. Yeah, pure hardness does mess with the firepower rating. Still only getting like 50. Hmm. We're not taking chunks out of the thing. One more shot for daddy. E. It does look at you, yeah. This thing... Oh my goodness! Oh, whoa! It does look at you! Oh, that's so cool! I think I like the... I like the Twin Gods so much more now. So much more now. Look at this! It's such a simple idea. Just put the head on a turret so it looks at you. But it's like... It works so well. And the... Why have I never thought of doing this? Why have I never thought of doing this? Mmm. Okay, one more shot. Oh yeah, well, the max AP for a hollow point cram is like 30 AP, so it doesn't do full damage against metal. But that's fine. You know what I should do though? I should, since this thing is going to be getting nice and close, I should set this to aim for 40 seconds so it puts at least uh, two shots in the same place. Yeah, so this hollow point is not the best uh, cram thing. I mean, yeah, like, I mean, I don't, I sometimes build a cockpit, but, um, but, yeah, you know, I've put faces on stuff. Come on, I actually want to see this thing despawn now. <laughs> I'm getting distracted, I know. We keep getting distracted by, like, fun updates and stuff. Okay, that's enough. We gotta build the submarine, guys. We gotta build the submarine. There we go. Let's do this. We're going to build the submarine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There. We're not gonna go completely nuts, I don't think. Alright, and I don't want this thing to float too much. Actually, I do want this thing to float. I want this thing to hang out on the surface uh, when it's not doing anything else. So I think I am gonna do the wood spam armor that I've been using. But metal deck, it's a metal deck. Some people are confused by this armor scheme. I assure you, this is kind of cost effective, so works just for you. Rubber, rubber, rubber. 
thing, this thing might very well scrape its butt on the underside of the universe. Alrighty-hoo then, let's just do this. Do 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 do. Oof. Yeah, the, the cockles are super dedicated. They are super dedicated. They do crazy stuff. They do crazy, amazing stuff, and we love them for it. And if you don't love them for it, what the hell, man? <laughs> Alright, I gotta remember this crosshatchy stuff and how it actually works. Alrighty. Uh, did that work the way I intended it to? No, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do something slightly different. Yeah, that's not great. That's not great. But it will do. Alright, so now we need cram stuff. Not cram stuff, what's it? This is totally gonna be a submarine, guys. Alright, so now we need to do stuff and things. Expensive, this is actually still very cheap. Two, three, four. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? You know what I'm gonna do? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to make this thing slow down a lot because submarine, damn it. This means doing this bit by bit. Slightly less canoe like than what I usually do. <laughs> so your back is correct, that's good to hear. I like being correct, it's one of my favorite things. One of my favorite things. That's what we like to see here. That's what we like to see here. Mm 
this thing might have fully internal propellers and you know what I'm okay with that I'm okay and fine with that I think we're doing great. Just to save our materials, we're just going to do this in the front. You could have done something better, but you didn't. You did the other thing that was not so good. And we're gonna save that placeholder too. Placeholder too. There we go. This thing's actually gonna be quite small and cheap, which I guess is the whole idea. Also, that's a lot of rubber. I can't see what I'm doing. Now I can see what I'm doing. Through the magic of technology. Magic of technology. Technology's magic. Did you know? It's all magic. It was all magic all along and we didn't know. I'm lying, by the way. <laughs> okay, let's see. Okay, that's not ideal. You might be wondering why I'm using wood for this. It's because, uh... If this thing loses engine power, I do want it to float, so it despawns slightly less quickly. This... I've made a tank again. I made a tank the other day, and I just made a, a tank again. You damn fool! You made a tank! Again! We do have a lot of room in here for fun and activities though, which is very nice. Hello, Gunbro. I don't know, I think the game is more optimized these days. It's much more optimized. Okay, where are we? I'm just gonna go with the control seat right here with the most stunning view possible. We're going to see if this this is definitely going to float. I made a tank. Guys, I made a tank. We shot for submarine, we missed, and we landed in tank. <laughs> That's funny to me. That's funny to me. It is kind of sinking, though. So, you know what? That's okay. That's okay. That's fair and okay and fair. It's the barrel weighing it down, actually. Okay, we have so much room for fun activity. So much room. So much room. Boom, boom, boom. We have a lot of room. We have a lot of room. Okay, let's go. Rubber blocks. You know what? We're actually going to, uh... Actually, gonna do something a little bit different. Going to, going to do AI from scratch because that makes sense. Also, I'm going to put a 360 sonar on top here. Let's go here. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. We 
could hide that in the thing a little bit better. This thing might need a... Nah, it's not gonna have a periscope. Why would we do that? That's too sensible. This is a weird submarine. This is a very weird submarine. It also has a huge amount of rubber on it, I just realized. Do vehicle transmitter. This is not a receiver. No one get confused. No one get confused. That's bad. Yep. Uh, control X is how you select. Yeah, 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 yeah. Driver's got you covered. Driver is a helper. Let's go here. Target privatization. So it's zero. So there. Block and speed. It's minus one. This thing might have trouble against other submarines. I think we're going to set this just to a very low broadside. Okay, let's go. Engine selection. Aim, try to put at least two shots there. And we don't want a snooper. And we need a lot of GPPPPPP. There we go. There we go, there we go, there we go. Actually, we're going to leave that there. that we're gonna do this and then we're gonna do this then we are going to armor this thing up for safety we're gonna use lots of metal metal is good for armor Good. It'd be nice if I could see what I was doing, though. I'm just going to. I'm not going to do that, apparently. Yeah, I'm sure that won't be a problem. Okay, let's. Uh figure out our engine situation. Don't have enough room for them. You know, you really don't have enough room for them in the front. That's a we I've made a weird AI compartment. It's weird. So now the thing's tipping the other way. Let's go put some engines in the front. Do we have enough room for variety of engines, actually? Let's go here. Just go find my prefab, Caterpillar Katarina, because it's just okay, it's not great, it's okay. Do need to leave room for ammunition somewhere. Um, Three thousand engine power enough. All right, we'll leave room for upgrades if we need it. Okay. Yep. Right. Ammo. 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 Ammo can go somewhere. It can go back here because this thing isn't going to require a heck of a lot of ammo, is it? The 
this thing's gonna have problems with heat shells coming from above, isn't it? Okay, so we had enough ammo. Right, this thing is gonna have torpedo interceptors when it's finished, before anyone asks. some kind of control surface. Thankfully, I know exactly how to do that because I'm smart. Okay, first we're gonna wrap some rubber around it. Actually, no, we're not. We're gonna... I lied. I lied. I lied to you all. Let's see if this is in smarter to chuck this internally, but I'm not a smart person. Right, let's just do that. that. goes up, that rolls left, so I want to roll left. This guy to be rolled right. This is a weird thing. <laughs> this thing's weird. Actually, you know what I should do? this, so that, why did I even bother copy-pasting it? Go left. That looks awful. You need to do the less awful thing, which is this. The slightly less awful thing. Buttons are hard. Buttons are so hard. Pitch up. Okay, roll right. And over here, we're gonna do this. Went all the way to the other side of the craft. What's chat say? Hello, hello. Yep. Yep, I made a warbler. And yeah, I do have a passive sonar. It's up here. See? Passive sonar. Okay, that's good. Let's push down. This thing is hilarious. I hope everyone realizes this thing is hilarious. Also, how am I going to do this now? You know what I might do? I might be silly. I might just be silly. Might be silly and just make a crap ton of small propellers. <laughs> oh boy, this is probably not gonna work very well. This thing's weird. 
This thing is really weird. Hmm, pr proportion. Alright, let's do this now. We do Broadside 2.0. I should also. Low, but some is 50 meters. Okay, tool center. Burp, 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 burp. Okay, land over there. Pitch towards target altitude. And altitude above land is 10 meters. We're going to go negative 60. Max altitude is that's too low. Sixty, thank you. Max altitude is okay, so we need to train that's trying to go there. So we've immediately got problems. You know what else is a good idea? Uh, piping the exhaust properly. I just forgot to do commentary for several seconds. That was very silly of me. Screw it. Okay, so now that we actually have proper engine power, we need to figure out what's going on here. I just, yeah, I just put some lead in there because I was like, bugger it, let's put lead. Uh, yeah, let's see here. Is it pointing forwards properly? There we go. Are we sinking yet? Not really. These guys are not doing what they're supposed to be doing. They're really not doing... That's not... Actually... What are you doing? Alright, I'm just going to remove these guys. Because apparently uh, the game is too confused. I'm instead, going to hmm, 
Interesting. Maybe we're just not going fast enough uh, to make it uh, do the thing properly. In which case, there's an easy fix for that. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. What the hell is happening? Okay, 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 okay. Okay, easy peasy fix. Easy peasy fix is just double the number of propellers. That's very simple, even I can get around with that. Don't think we'll stick with small propellers. That might be a stupid idea. Oh, you know what it is. The frickin' automatic control is probably bollocksing this up something terrible. Yeah, because it's like it's been set to pitch. That's really annoying. No, do what I tell you to. Why are you pitching upwards? What are you doing? My altitude above water is minus 60 feet. Let's go minus 80. Maximum altitude above. No. How does this work again? Okay, that's better. Now I just need to hop on that turret and. Range is going to be set to what's our broadside setting again? 600. There we go. That should be a okay. All right. So we're at, let's go with. There we go. If we turn her off, <laughs> she does a weird thing. We how expensive is she? This thing's cheap as hell. This is a weird thing with me. Whoa! Lots of people. Oh. Oh yeah, true. Mm. There's not really enough room in there for uh, big props. Yeah, yeah, I can read what... Okay, whoa. Doesn't need to point forwards. So many things. Yep, reading chat. I can read chat. Cram on the sub. Yeah, that's the idea. Okay. Okay. Right, okay, yeah, good point. Let's, uh, before I forget. There's da -da 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 -da. Is this thing actually steering properly? No, it's not. Hello? Why is this thing not- Oh! Deacon's hell! That... Okay, let's, uh... No one picked up on that. Okay, no, that's awful. That is the worst. That is hideous. I hate it. altitude control no it's not it's not well okay whatever yeah let's do uh, well here's the thing this thing doesn't Ugh. I'm airborne sure I'm airborne 
want to go here, attack run, disengage altitude. What the hell was I wanting? I could actually stick those pivot things inside it. That would be a good idea. Why did I not do that? Why did the propeller stop doing that thing? I do like this thing's butt. It's got an interesting butt. All right, uh, now what do I want to do? Yeah, yeah, broadside one, attack one, so good. Why not circle at distance because, uh, I don't know, that never seems to work very well. So let's now, we can go minimum to above water. Max altitude is one. So if we do that, it's slightly faster. Thing. Yep, yep, yep. Way ahead of you, driver. Okay, we could make this thing go faster. How do we make it go faster? Hmm. I'm going to hell for this one. Okay. Five meters per second, 26 meters per second above the waterline. And now let us first spawn it against a marauder. And she dives! <laughs> it's okay, you're doing fine, driver. Crimes are also invisible. We missed. Okay, that, whoa, yep, that, that does the trick, that does the trick just fine, woof, nailed it, in fact, we can drop our, let's go 90, 90, look at you surfacing, Okay, I'm liking this actually. Yeah, we're apparently for, well, not Cramneater, we're going with a bird theme. I guess for both Cramneater and uh, the Caravonian Rebellion, so... 
I don't know what bird this is. Let's test this against the crossbones. Why not? Let's go there. Crossbones. Ow! You knocked off me rubber, you bastard. I need to see it, I need to see it, I need to see it, need to see it, that is dead on. What the hell did that even hit? Oh, that. <laughs> Crossbones just shot itself. And we just vaporized its propellers. Neat! This thing actually works kind of well. I like it. At least against things that uh, don't shoot back. See, that cram can aim all the way up, basically. Whee! That looks very silly. What did that do? Uh, that just, uh... That just took out a turret. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay. Uh, we have a problem now. Uh, because uh, if we set crams to uh, max speed like that, maybe. <laughs> Don't like that. Don't like that. Yeah, maybe cormorant. Yeah. Mm, need to do something about that. Maybe I need to go deeper. If I do that, right, let's do that again. Bearing in mind that the crossbones is way, way more expensive than this thing. Set this slightly deeper. What did that do? That took out a chunk of stuff. Save it like so. Okay, and now the thing literally cannot shoot at us. I said as it starts shooting at it. Oh my god. Okay, there's a severe problems with this design, and that is it needs to get close. And it means unfused cram cannons can hit it really easily, and I'm not. You know what?
Damn it. I could just have it switch between two different behaviors. That could work. Let's try the broadside. Let's try broadside instead. See how that works. first, because, right, groovy, all right, so it automatically does that, never mind, it's, it's doing something stupid, okay, no, okay, right, this thing might have to just be a... Okay, you hit me anyway, you bastard. We need to make this thing faster. We need to make it much faster, actually. It actually might be useful to have this thing go around at a bigger distance. Or even have it PID controlled. It's actually getting better detection information now that those 90 degree radars can do something. Uh, sense alt control. Wait a minute. Oh yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. Let's do circle at a distance. Altitude. There we go. <laughs> Let's go 300 meters. Uh, whoa, uh, whoa, no, next roll to target, no. And... Okay, now we're, now we're just cruising around on the seafloor. <laughs> let's go, uh, let's go 250, actually. So now we are a deep, we are a deep sub. We are a deep submarine. Are we gonna paint it yellow? Maybe. No. Let's try this against the crossbones again. Uh, oh, maybe. Oh yeah, let's, maybe we can swap everything out for ion thrusters just to see what happens. gonna need you to get uh, get closer where the hell are you going seriously what the, what the hell are you doing man oh that's why
This feels safer. Dumpty 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 doo. Yeah, I'll put. I think I'm gonna. Yeah, I'll put a rubber hat on the turret at the very least. Why are you surfacing? Don't do that. It's bad. Okay, what the hell, man? I'm just gonna repair that. This thing does need to be a lot faster. Okay, right. That's annoying. Bear in mind, water wise, the crossbones is four times more expensive than the thing you have. That elevation, though, is very nice. So keeping your distance seems to be. Oh! <laughs> okay, right. <laughs> That'll do, big. How fast is the crossbones, actually? Uh, not that fast. We're faster than it. Interesting. Thank goodness for time fuses. We're gonna need to... Actually, the crossbones is mostly shooting itself. Yeah, this thing, this thing takes a lot of damage and I don't like it. Yeah, it's just like, hmm. Oh, dearie me, that's no good at all. I mean, it's also doing a fair amount of, well, yeah, there you go. It just, it just took a turret off. So the fact that this is a kind of an even fight, oh boy, yeah this is an even fight between something that uh, is a lot more expensive than this. It's almost like shooting something in the squishy underbelly uh, works kind of well. Okay, so we're seeing problems with this thing already. It's uh, it's a little bit too easy to shoot, which is no good. All right, so what's the max power of this thing is 45. Max power of this thing is 60, so... I'm just gonna replace these. And we're gonna be super, super sneaky, even though we have active sonar, so we're not gonna be that sneaky. Also, we're probably going to be a lot slower. Yep, we're much slower. I don't like that. I don't like that. Don't care for that, really. This is why I didn't want to do too many new things at once, because I knew it wouldn't end well. Actually, what am I doing? You know what I can do? You know what I can do that's somewhat sensible? Slightly sensible. Not tremendously sensible. Is this. Where is it? How 
how sturdy is this? It's sturdy enough. Right, that's expensive in terms of power. Don't do that. Whoa! Whee! Okay. Going back to first principles here. So, one of these things is not like the others. Okay, we have 4,000 engine power. How much does this use? It uses 200, so we can actually have a bunch of these. Fast, are we? these things we're not going no faster than we were before in a straight line which is not good thank goodness for control Z you know what I might do that's slightly cheesy okay I'm gonna just save it for now I'm gonna save you Alright, I'm gonna try something. Yeah, I'm gonna try something a little bit cheaty. Just a little bit cheaty. So I'm gonna save this. Placeholder 2. And this is an old, slightly modified trick. Uh, that, uh, from days gone by, which were more cheesy, but it still kind of works. It involves spin blocks and wing blocks. Feet are cold. I must put foot on. <laughs> Who would have thought the hard part of this isn't the cram cannon? It's the vehicle itself. Actually, that's pretty much cram meter uh, in a nutshell. Uh, you just gotta uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You just gotta realize that uh, things are gonna be a little bit hard. Thinking's hard for me. Only 
have one brain that makes the thinky think hard. Okay, so what I'm about to do is real nonsense. Okay, let's go. I regret everything. Shouldn't have done that yet. Set. And I'm going to spin my control, power scale, spin our data. Where's the thing? There is a setting. There is a setting. Oh, motor drive. There we go. Set that to 10, power use, blah, blah, blah. Just for fun, I'm going to do this. These things spin clockwise. This is going to be silly, okay. Okay, good. That's what I wanted. Okay. Where's my rubber? There's my rubber. Superstructure tutorial. I might not be qualified for that. <laughs> um, yeah, so there is a superstructure platform which I don't remember the name of. Actually, hold on. let's see if we can find it. Okay, superstructure pack one. Look for that on the Steam Workshop. That is your best friend when it comes to uh, figuring out how to do a good superstructure. Seriously, just look at that and you'll, uh, you'll be all good, uh, dice. Or just mess around until you find, uh, something you want. Alright, so, power use is 480. 480. We can have six of these. That is perfect. I like that. I like that. Just fine. What have I just done? This is fiddly. There we 
you go. Right, this is not working out as well as I wanted it to. But it's okay. Nope, that is definitely not working. <laughs> Nope, it looks like we're sticking uh, with propellers. So two still there. Need to work something else out. Uh, I'm just gonna put a rubber hat on this, uh, so long. Because that seems to be what people want. And bearing in mind that... Uh, with chucking this thing up against the crossbones, we'd be probably using more than one. Also, this is the first serious uh, non-tester cram submarine build I've made, so let's just keep that in mind. Remember if the crossbones even has uh, sonar? I'm not sure that it does. This thing is still very cheap. It's like sixty thousand materials. That's not much. But we have yet to add various fun things to it. Whoops. Do not worry about other things because we have a rubber hat. I've just changed my whoops, I've just changed my mind about how the rubber hat is gonna work. Yep, you know what? I am gonna try those. Right after I've finished my rubber hat. There we go. Rubber hat is rubber. Alright, let's try the let's try the air props. Let's see how they do. Against the bottom of the ocean. Is 
the bottom of the ocean under the sea under the sea life is better downwards better under the sea one two three four five six one two three four Maybe not. Yeah, never mind. Uh, okay. Are we going faster than the thing? Nope, we're not. Actually, we are. Oh, look at us go. Well, we're going roughly as fast. At least this thing looks good. It looks good and makes me happy. <laughs> yeah, we're going exactly as fast as we were before. Which is disappointing. But not unexpected. Alrighty, you want to describe the ground? Wheels could be in order. Yeah, 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 yeah. Beep, 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 beep. Okay, well, that's... What a well, well, I'm struggling. Okay, how can I make this work? You know how I can make this thing go even faster? It's by doing this. Sam. <laughs> Look at this thing being ugly as hell. <laughs> second we cannot we lack the power and bugger it actually we're going 28 meters per second what am, what am i complaining about what am i complaining about <laughs> okay. right let's shoot at uh, what should we shoot Alright, so there's a number of things that actually need to happen here. I need to... Uh, chuck in... Oh no, I just realized... I just realized... You damn... Oh, thank goodness. See, this is why it's a good idea to have... Where the hell is it? Okay. This is why it's a good idea to leave space for stuff. For upgrades. Fun upgrades and stuff. Wow, I don't have anything in here. Interesting. What 
can I stick in here? It's very cramped. Oh, it is cramped in here. It is very cramped. a hole in the AI compartment's not the best idea. Maybe it's not the best idea. Maybe I should shut up. Okay. Yeah, more engine, then add more propeller. That's a good... I don't actually have room for a good engine in there. That's the annoying thing. That AI compartment is exactly the most annoying size. Uh, but what was I doing? I was doing... I was doing... This is more complicated than I thought it was going to be. Gotta be honest with you. More complicated than I thought it was gonna be. And that's my bad. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, it's two to three meter transition. No, it's three to four meter transition, you dope. plan. Everyone look at my plan. Okay, I'm going to be cheeky cheeky and uh, do... Hello, why is this so dark? Weird things are happening in Alpha Test. Okay. Go there. Well, I guess now we're using a probe. Measure, nope, counter measures. Flare, launch ACB. There are torpedoes within blah blah blah. We'll fire weapons. And this is just going to have a whole smeg ton of these and a ballast tank. Look, depth is one meter. Yeah. Activate when uh, when enemy is within blah blah blah. We'll fire weapons and this. It's going to have the sonar buoy. Am I blind? No, I'm not blind. And just a bunch of these as well, because why not? And ballast tank, this is going to be a float depth of 10. So these are very similar, but not quite. Okay. And the cost is still very cheap. Let us now... Wait, not... Oh my god, this is a... What am I doing? What am I doing with my life? Radar! Radar, radar, radar. And float down, final buoyancy is that, and I don't know what else I could stick on here. I guess that. Friggin', why not? Yay! What do you mean? What do we. Read chat. I don't have to read chat. You can't tell me what to do. I'm concentrating. Uh, doing something. I deco around the props. Fill with more engine. Uh, maybe. Don't really. Wait, no, you're right. I do have room for. I left room for more engine. I can fill this with engine. Silly me, thank you, chat. Okay, let's go. Okay, 
Where's it? Where's it? Where's it? Caterpillar Katarina! Caterpillar Katarina! Where are you? Start looks like that, so let's delete that. So now we go. Well, first they. Zoom in so we can see what the hell we're doing. Caterpillar Katarina middle. Do we have enough fuel? Yes, we do. We now have a lot more power. Thank you, thank you for being for reminding me not to be silly, silly. Oh, look at that! First thing we can do is this. We can just do. Hey, bigger props, bigger props. Radar boy won't work underwater, but yeah, that's the point. The thing uh, gets chucked up. Alright, so what are we doing? We're 32,000... You know what we could do that's clever? Because this. Four to four to three. Inverse. at that. Look at us being clever. Wee! Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And we can do that same thing again. Probably, I don't know, do something cute there. I don't know what we'll do though. <laughs> no, we're doing it. Wait, radar distractor, you said? Oh, target him with dirt. Okay, thank you. Radar buoy. Radar buoy is what I want because I want this thing to shoot accurately at stuff above the water. That's that thing. And it's just fill the sonar target with simulators for like preemptive torp defense. Uh, let's go here. All right. This and we're gonna do this. Okay. Stop for a second. Go. There we 
go, there we go, there we go, and we have maximum propellage. How fast are we going now? <laughs> Can we get over 40 meters per second? I think we might. No, damn it. There we go. That's a lot of propellage. We oh yes, we got over 40 meters per second. What what if you make your turret pointy and it will go faster by better hydrodynamics? Um, sub objects don't have drag, so that's actually not a problem. So what we can do though is put a barrel guard uh, on this because I am in the habit of doing that. Barrel gird. Getting late over here. Oh boy. Yep, they don't. Alrighty, so there we go, and we have that. This thing's basically done. Let's test it against something that has torpedoes, just to see what happens. for rubber. Did that fire? Oh yeah, it did. It totally did. Uh, what happened to the torps? What happened to the torpedoes on this? Did they fi They haven't even fired yet. I'm gonna call this thing done. Looks very distinctive. Who would have thought cram cannons are a bigger threat to this thing uh, than torpedoes? Alright, so. Crossbones, torpedoes not firing. What does chat say? Next one, try turret, turret, the thrust. Okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, ouch. Oh no, dice. Oh no. Well, you might have way more siblings if that hadn't been the case. Um, we can do more deco here. We can do multiple things. What's something, what's something that has a lot of torpedoes? Actually, you know what we could do? Let's test this against another submarine. Test it against a typhoon, why not? See what happens. Did the bloody thing just. Oh! Okay. We're gonna catch up to you, buddy. Interesting. Hold on. Oh. Uh, you know what's a good idea? Ejectors. Okay, that's not working. Alright, I think that's working now. There we go. It goes floop. And I think that passive sonar should be able to detect uh, torpedoes coming in. If 
this thing could go do tank to tank combat with submarines, that would be hilarious. Oh my god, it can! <laughs> oh, that is hilarious. That is hilarious. That is so funny. <laughs> oh boy. Maybe I should set that a little closer, the road uh, circling distance. Wait for the sound. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> we, can, we can fight submarines underwater with Gram Ganons. You just have to get close enough. Also, the fact that Grams have double projectile speed does help. Also, this thing isn't even firing at us. Oh my god, this is the fu- We're hitting a submarine from beneath. That's how submarine we are. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, you missed. Oh boy, this is fun. <laughs> well... I guess we have, uh, I guess we have a decent, uh, anti-submarine warfare capability. Because, uh, oh man, we've crippled it. We make a bigger version of this, uh, the thing is gonna be able to take on the black current. Oh boy. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure, I don't think they lose speed as fast as APS do, no. APS does. It can be hard to tell. I haven't... I don't know that for sure. Don't quote me on that. Yeah, we're just straight up doing submarine warfare. Alright, let's do... Hashtag... Camo. I actually want to do the same camo as what's on the Typhoon. Let's see what... What is Typhoon? It is Camo 31. Alright. Never mind, that sucks. There we go. Well, that's a success. Like, I call that a huge success. Oh boy. Alright, uh, wait, no. We still don't know how well this thing does against anything with torpedoes, so let us... Okay, let's go here. Where's a thing with torpedo? Uh, the Banshee has torpedoes. Durr. Also, what is the... Hang on. Before we do anything else... Wow, this thing has basically no uh, sonar signature. It's actually quite stealthy. That's hilarious. Also, things aren't even firing torpedoes at it, for some reason. So how fast are we? How fast is the... Okay, never mind. Let's see here... Okay, it's fired a bunch of missiles because it's confused. Torps? Nope. How fast is the Banshee? Banshee is 28 meters per second. We are... Listening. Water mode at your service. You missed, you fool! How dare you. How dare you miss. This thing is hilarious! <laughs> uh, so what? Rubber is... Yay! Yeah, I don't really build with fleet colors anymore. Um, I just have default black and white uh, for my fleet colors. Well, I'd say default. And we just... Yep, so shooting things in the, in the guts works quite well.
You missed again, you fool! Wait, how expensive is a banshee? Wow. It is considerably more expensive than this thing. And there goes... Oh, those are missile interceptors. Yeah, things are just straight up not firing torpedoes at this thing. I don't know why. Maybe they're scared. Also, this thing seems to have a habit of shooting the propellers of things off completely. Which is very convenient. Why are things not firing propellers at this? That's just... that's weird. Maybe it's a speed thing? Oh yeah, no, there's no way in hell this thing is fighting is gonna win against a mech, but since you ask, we'll try it. We can try it. No reason not to. Whee! Firing propellers, what did I say? I didn't say the smart thing. I said the dumb thing. You missed again. I should do. I'm just going to drop this just a smidge more. You'd think I put this on a turret. How is this thing still moving? How are you doing this voodoo? Seriously, like... Oh, it's because it's got extra propellers in there. Mm. Ah, you missed, you fool! Why'd you do that? Oh boy. Yeah, it's internal props. Oh, yep! This thing only has a passive sonar! It really can't see us at all. That's hilarious. That's funny to me. The fact that my cram sub keeps missing though, that's less hilarious. Come on, we gotta fry this banshee, then futilely take on the meg. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. There we go. It's getting somewhere, and it looks like... How are you still moving? This is why redundant propellers are such an amazing thing to do. Where? How? Oh, there it is. It's still there. Think? Right, I'm cold. I'm gonna put my hoodie on. Excuse me. Okay, see you, monster kicker. Actually, you know what would be very smart is tweaking the AI, the AI to aim below the friggin' waterline. You know, the obvious thing to do. Like the, the banshee looks awesome. Look at this cockpit. And even has a walkable interior. Whoa, there's a sign in there. What is it? Welcome aboard. We're really no there. Eagle certified. What? Come on, you can AI dead this thing. Oh, you missed. Screw it. Time for the bank. We're not gonna win, but it's gonna be hilarious. Megalodon. No, you fool. Dive, you fool. I was kind of expecting a hail of uh, railgun shells. Uh, it doesn't seem to have happened. Also, the railgun, uh, the Megalodon is faster than us, uh, by the way. Are torpedoes just not firing today? 
Torpedoes are just not firing today. Okay then. The Megalodon is might not be faster than us anymore. What is going on? What is going on? <laughs> what is going on? It missed. We're invisible. We are just straight up invi- well, until those, uh, until the, uh, the railguns get a bead on us, in which case, never mind. Okay then. Um... Oh, there's the... What? No? Okay, what? I refuse to believe this. I refuse to believe that this little thing can give the Mega run for its money. What? I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Also, we're catching up to it. Actually, I want to see just quickly the Megalodons. Also, minimum range is 1,000. You missed, you fool. No, oh, you didn't miss. What the hell? Oh, hello, you're about to take out the steam boilers. A scaled up version of the submarine would actually be friggin' terrifying. I'm glad we made the mini uh, prototype thing. I think cram only needed is gonna be actually easier than I thought, at least when dealing with things underwater. And the particle cannons keep missing us. What the hell? Okay, we've got to see if this thing can fully take on the Meg. We've got to see that. Did I just happen to spawn it in... No, I spawned it at one and a half kilometers. That's... Closer than the Meg likes, but it's within... Uh, further than it's been... Min 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 oh yeah. What are the people saying? Did we accidentally make something extraordinarily meta? We might have accidentally made something extraordinarily meta. This stream's gonna go extra long just to see if this thing can solo the Meg. It might run out of materials first, though. I guess maybe maybe it just got really lucky and taken out a propeller or two. Yeah, it's in the land system already. What the hell, guys? Also, to be fair, uh, just so everyone is uh, aware, cram cannons currently have times two speed, so regular cram speed would not do here. Oh, whoa, whoa! Oh, there we go. Oh, this thing needs surge protectors. Oh, the, all that rubber though is really helping. protectors. Also, I think that just proves that doing the little rubber trick with the, uh, with the, what do you call it? I think if, if Rambo keeps repairing, though, this isn't going to be a fair thing, is it? Oh, the Megal... Part of the reason this is working is that the Megalodon has AA mantlets, so it can't actually aim down far enough to hit us. This might take too long. This thing is, this thing is silly. What the? Yeah, we just fried another propeller. <laughs> this thing is, what the hell, man? Turn repairs back on just because I can. 
probably a good thing that, um... What is with this thing and, you know... Okay, what happened? Okay, there we go. Our barrel's been, our barrel's been snubbed a bit. Also, we can't see anything anymore. Okay, that'll do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this thing is a huge success. We've basically made a submarine tank that can last longer against the Megalodon than a lot of far more expensive craft. So yeah, this is a success. There were teething troubles, but it works. <laughs> and we, yeah. Yeah, 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 we've got, yeah, yeah, it's got the, what do you call it? That's why I was still trying to aim. It's got the wireless detection thingy. Iron Phantom, I don't know what that is. So yeah, that'll do for now. Uh, we've gone two and a half hours, jeez. I'm hungry. Okay. Th this was a success, my goodness. We've made a little cram canoe tanky thing. And it does very well. So yeah. Yeah, it's like, yeah, this thing's gonna run out of materials if it, before it ever takes on the Meg. But whatever, it's okay. So thank you so much for joining me on this stream. Thank you for watching. Uh, please like, follow, subscribe on uh, Twitch and YouTube. And uh, usual end of stream shout out. I've written a book. It is called Two of Rogues. You can find it on all the ebook stores. Uh, thank you all so much. And I will see you next week for more stuff. We're probably going to do uh, what's it, Caravanian Rebellion stuff because that's also fun. All right. See you, farewell, goodbye and farewell.